Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server in Minecraft, working on West Hill as we have been all week long. Enjoying every minute of it actually. I'm, I'm quite happy that we have been able to check a few things off in the book. We've now finished all of the decorating along the riverbanks, all that kind of good stuff. Mindtrip Media, thank you for the 100 bits to kick off the stream. Much appreciated. Good to see you and Sandy and Cosmic I know is lurking. Blast Jordan. Everybody's here. And I did forget one thing yesterday. There's always something. There's always something. And I uh, I changed the river bank, but I forgot to change the river bed. So we'll quickly adjust that today. Got a skeleton to adjust as well. Okay, I left all the stuff over here, so everything we need is going to be in the same shulkers. Already some visitors for the inn, yeah, really? Not the people that I would want to have stay there. So, we are going to need shovel shears. I have to be careful I don't ruin those. Uh, not going to need grass. We are going to need some coarse dirt. And... Bone meal as well as likely some seagrass. And that should be it. So basically what I forgot to do, turn off the fancy cam, was uh, I took all this down and I forgot to change uh, the grade here underneath the river. And so it's a really simple change. Uh, that is coarse dirt. And that is somewhere it's not coarse dirt. Probably wherever. This is going to be a real pain. So wherever that camera is pushing us down, that's the water flowing downward. And it has a really unfortunate effect in Minecraft. And it just won't stop. Like I just, I don't know why they decided that this was a good mechanic. Like, I'm not swimming. I'm not... I'm not hitting shift or, or sprint. Like, I'm just trying to stand on the ocean floor or the river floor here, and it just will not let me stand up. It's infuriating. So hopefully this will not take long. Has anybody else had this problem? Like, I just, I cannot walk on the riverbed. It w just won't let me, won't let me stand up. Every time I move, it makes me swim. And I don't want to. I want to walk. Which I know you can. Elytra is off. Elytra is not on the person. The problem that I have with it is that it's random. It corrects itself. And then I miss when I go to mine a block. That's the beef that I have with it. And it should stop. Like, I should be able to just stand. Right? And walk on the bottom of the ocean. And it just won't let me. I keep on saying ocean. I mean river. See? I didn't, I didn't want to mind that. Not to start off the stream complaining, but... This makes everything take four times as long. Did 
That, I think, is the end of it. Like it's happening even just under the surface, which it really shouldn't. So I apologize for anybody that's getting a little seasick. It's not something I'm doing intentionally. Just trying to round this out a little bit, make it look like a decent transition. I think that works. Scotsman UK, subscribing at tier one, 13 months, 12 months, months, month, actually, I guess must have been a um, gift sub, I guess, to start. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Scotsman. Lucky 13. I honestly kind of wonder if there's some sort of bug because I've not experienced it be this terrible. Full stack of pancakes for Scotsman, yeah. Twitch subs are counted from one from one on day one, so. 13 is on the first day of the 13th month. Oh, I see. Like, I, I cannot aim, and it is infuriating. And I really don't like the swim view underwater when you're on the ground. It's too low and it feels too fast. It feels like a bad camera angle in a movie or something. FOV is normal. I don't know what's going on. It's like you stick to the ground. It's it's like takes an extra second for the space bar to even make me go up.
Thankfully, that's over because I am 100% done dealing with this. Wasn't sure what we're going to be doing today, but I can tell you right now, we're not doing anything underwater. It's one of the few times in the last several months that I've had a really difficult time not cursing on stream. This is going to be really painful. Trying to aim at stuff and not hit other things. And that's it. I give up. Screw that. <laughs> you need a, a Minecraft suitable style curse word like birch planks. <laughs> that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. That's full. Could probably just make slabs. Okay. We can now check something off in the book, which is the West Hill River. Northwest Riverbanks, Potato Farm, Fishing Dock, and Riverbank details. Those are both done. And that means that the West Hill River is done. I guess I don't need to check that. So the Spruce River has got some north points of interest and some north river banks. But I, as I mentioned, we are done today dealing with the water. So we've got crossroad signs, wagon stops. Wouldn't mind doing another path texture. Yes, one less thing in the to-do book. Unfortunately, our river is a little bit overrun. Um, something that I've been thinking about doing is if this is like a wagon road or a road that people would take to uh, get to the city i feel like um someone going to the inn wouldn't necessarily walk all the way around i feel like there'd probably be some sort of path that would cut along here so i'm going to put one in with path block and just kind of see how i like it and my guess is that it would actually probably come out around here so 
what I'll do is maybe have something like this. I have a curve up there. And this will be probably the inside line. Yeah, so I'm thinking it would probably end up going right about here. Like if I was walking up here, I feel like I'd veer off probably about here. Pretty good guess. Want it to be a little bit more curvy, so maybe we'll push this farther. Let's replace a couple of these. And we could work out a little bit more of a transition here. Then coming from this way, I feel like it might be even out farther. Fortunately, they'll show up as the same color. Like that might be a little bit too wide once it gets going. Hey, there's Matt Cast. How's it going? You're having a good day. Two, three, four, five, six, seven.
So I don't know if this is going to be something I keep. I'm going to leave it in there for a while. One of the things I do is is build an idea quickly, do like a rough sketch for it, and then I'll leave it there for a while as we build in the area and see if it bothers me. Well, he's going to bother me. What do you have? Warped planks. Maybe we'll get the oars. Definitely get the slime. Red concrete powder. Ooh, skulk. I think I've got, I don't know if I have skulk. I'm pretty sure I don't have skulk. So we will get, I think I have enough stone blocks. Uh, we'll get uh, all the ores. So skulk, deep slate, copper ore, coral ore, sorry, coal ore. Skulk, oops, skulk. Coal ore. And then we've got red concrete slime, lapis and redstone. The one time you want to be in your face and stay still. I'll get furnaces as well as dispensers, warped planks, and deep slate iron ore. That's a lot. So furnace, warped planks, dispenser, and deep slate iron ore. Furnace. Dispenser. And burped planks. I am taking notes in chat. There's no one else online, so who cares? Uh, Cosmic did it anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Cosmic. Uh, emeralds. That's the warped box. Warped planks. My only dispenser. Oh, was there slime in there? There was slime in there. I have to go back to the keep anyway. Red concrete, got that. I feel like there's coal ore there. I do have one single skulk block. I might as well use it. Can you? No, you have to use XP to expand it, right? I don't think it was red crunky powder. I think it was red um, concrete. You need another block to make it right. Uh, no ore there. I think everything else is going to be Back of the keep. Furnace dis dis furnaces, dispensers. Furnaces are here. F 
Flux, welcome back. We're picking up some mini blocks from the wandering trader. Hey, look. Ore. Deep slate copper ore. It's going to be over here. Lapis ore and redstone ore. Lapis ore and redstone ore. Deep slate iron ore. I think that's it. So the reason I wanted to get all this stuff is because of the, the future planning for the sci-fi zone. I just don't know what kind of mini blocks I might want to use around there. And this could be super fun. those back. Oh, I forgot to get the dispenser. Oh, well. Oh, sorry to hear that your cat is sick, Flux. Sick pets are no fun. Easy enough. I don't know how I'm going to organize new storage for that stuff. Because they they stack so small, I might uh, end up doing like one chest with multiple shulkers inside of it as a way to um, store them. Three... How does that feel? It's a little steep off the start. Maybe it doesn't have to be as wide as I'm making it. We'll see. Well, 
once it's all textured, I think it'll go a little bit smoother. What's going on here? I think I need to make some more rockets too. Yep. You should get dirt paths back with silk touch. Yeah, I can see it just adding another thing to the inventory. I think instead of doing that, they, they allowed you to create dirt path out of Coarse dirt, dirt, and um, and grass. I think that was that was their solution to that particular problem. That feels about right. If I was coming from the east and I wanted to go north, I could see on foot, just kind of trekking around here. That feels like a pretty natural path, I think. Obviously, it'll look a lot better once we texture it and integrate it into the surroundings, but we'll leave it like that for now and see if it's something I like and see if it informs how I'm going to divide up this area. So this feels like a much smaller area just to put some grass and bushes in compared to all of this. So all of this, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Maybe we'll add another tree or something. That could be it. Uh, I'd rather move on to something more significant, though. And one of the things that we have on our list is the interior of that space. And that might be fun to just check off. Yeah, time to move the storage and time to put the storage back, I think. I'm not going to need quite as much of it. It is nice. It takes a couple of minutes, but it is nice to kind of just put everything back and then only take out again what you need as opposed to trucking everything all over the place. Moss. Um, that, like that. Got that backwards. I think gravel was supposed to go down here. I'm still tempted to grab that data pack that they use on Hermitcraft where you can rename items to be different textures because it would allow us to label these shulker boxes, which would be nice. 
Shulker boxes are great to have. I really like them. Have you gotten that far, Flux? Or are you playing on a peaceful world, maybe? All right, book is in here. And it is the... I guess we can do any of these interiors, really. Wheat farm mill interior, that's the main thing. So let's just go take a look. Refresh my mind on the texture inside and see what else we need. It's gonna be mostly like a bed and tables and chairs and stuff. So we've got nothing here, no life at all, and no texture, although I think we're kind of stuck in that way. And then up here. So I don't think that this is necessarily someplace a person would live, so we don't really have to do like a bedroom. I guess we could do something small up here if we wanted to, but I feel like it'd be better to have storage you know boxes and things like that and that will reduce the amount of tables and chairs and things i might have to put in here which is good and then the basement is actually weirdly you have to go around and access it over here so that's the the grinding wheel and this has already been done so we've got like the wheel that's attached to the water wheel. That's all lined up like it should work. I'm going to go ahead and guess that that used to be a table. So we have to remember to replace that with a table. Because me floating those around is probably not what I would have done. Yeah, the texture is a little flat in here. Okay. Cosmic Dancer gifted a tier one sub to Flux Synthesis. Flux, you can now join the Discord. Just connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. You can find the Joel Duggan server in your Discord connections once you do that. Justin Tunes, the day's all right. Had a good hangout with the Spawn Chunks community this morning, talking about all the stuff that they've been building. Had some pancakes. Will not discuss my river adventure. And uh, here we are. I don't think we'll need any of that. Uh, actually, we might need some birch. Coarse dirt bones. I'm going to turn some of this into bone blocks and stuff. Won't need anything from there. I'll bring this just in case I want something inside for texture. Don't think we need anything here. Oh, I installed a 3D texture pack from Vanilla Tweaks that I really like. I think that looks a lot cooler than the flat model. I got it on a couple of things actually. It's um 3D emesis clusters. Oh, it doesn't even give me the full name. Um I don't remember what it is. Did I move that? No. Uh, 3D chains, which we've seen. And, well, you can see them on the lanterns. There was one other 3D thing that I added. 
Oh, bookshelves. The chiseled bookshelves. Uh, I've got one of those here. Even the model is in the inventory is 3D. So it's got like a depth to it. Bring that. I guess I should empty this. Can you compost spider eyes? No. Really ramping up on the uh, the ink. Oh, I need to make more rockets too, don't I? there. That is a player head. Cool. That's good. And I think that's it. I think we can just kind of go and try to fix this place up. Yeah, the 3D amethyst is a fun, a fun look. There's a couple of things on vanilla tweaks that I really like. Like I like some of the 3D trapdoors. I need to fix my texture on this one, but I don't. I think my, I don't think they did the 3D trapdoors on that door. They do the 3D doors. So right now I've got the 3D doors from vanilla tweaks, but I do not have the 3D trapdoors. I have one personal 3D trapdoor that I did myself. And I don't think the other ones have depth to them. Uh, oh, that one. That one does. So some of them do, some of them don't. I find that what happens is I end up grabbing a texture pack online. And then I tweak it. It's very often doesn't really jive with what I want. So we'll fix the table down here first. That's probably going to be the easiest thing. And there's nothing on it, which is weird. I'm not sure what would be on it. Maybe like a bundle of hay or something. Which honestly, I should probably have brought more of those. I don't think I brought any hay bales. No, I didn't. Okay. Well, we'll work on some of the texture while we're here, and then I'll go back and get some hay bales. So can any of this... Let's 
go to stair there. That's a full block. Slabs. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. What I might want to do is actually use a stair. which I do have. And then maybe we'll change this. I'm really glad that chains don't break when you uh, remove the block above them. So does that, that little you know, interior support idea that I talk about from time to time. Sometimes it's just nice to add in these little structural things. It makes the Minecraft build feel like a little more intentionally designed rather than just using game mechanics. Uh, it's going to be this one. Yep. And then that's more interesting to look at when you walk in here too. And that feels pretty good. I think the reason I don't have a stair there is because it probably would feel very in your face when you first walk in. Makes sense. So here, we can actually have a little bit of fun. Maybe we'll move this out. I find this kind of stuff just off the cuff too. You don't have to, it's not a major build, so you can kind of just have fun with it. And then I can't put one there. So I'll just leave that like that. Just provides a little bit more interest as you're coming around the corner. Now is that, that's probably an outside block somehow. Nope. Why was that? St oh, it's probably because it looked better up here. It doesn't look good down here. And that's a slab, so I can't put a trapdoor there. Okay. Those are gonna stay. So one thing we could do, we also have to think about lighting in here. Thankfully, since I've built this, the lighting has changed. So we don't have to have torches everywhere. We can have a much lower light level in here. It doesn't need to be quite this high. 
uh, probably going to put a light over here somewhere. I don't know what this would be in terms of function. It's mostly a hallway. But my guess would be a table. And that's where we could put the, the light. Although, you don't want it to be a candle. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> Thinking a little more logistically. Also, there's no windows in this place. I think I did try to put some stairs here before. And I think they probably felt a little bit too much like they were bonking you in the face. Yeah. So that said, maybe we can do the same sort of trapdoor thing we did below. Helps the ceiling a little bit. This is just wide open. I feel like we could probably do a stone stair there. That might look okay in the corner. And up here we could do the same thing with the um, trap doors that we were doing before. In this case, I would probably want to leave these. I don't think it, pushing them out here, it feels like you're going to bonk your face on them. Probably try it. Although rather than putting signs there, we could leave that space for like maybe a chest or something. tool chest would make sense. So I won't put signs there just in case. Sweet Sandy, thanks very much. Snow Awake, welcome in. So this has windows that are open. And the rafters need some structure, maybe. Still getting used to having 3D chains. It's the kind of thing where I almost want them to be a little thinner, but I understand why they're not. All right, well, since I'm here, and I'm pretty sure this is a nice lit area that I'm not going to have any problems with, uh, I'm going to take that break now. So if you're new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to grab another cup of coffee. You can grab a friend, grab a snack, and we'll be right back.
Okay, now upstairs, I think we can do some storage. So let's put down, this is gonna be kind of where we can throw it. Maybe things like having chest there. Uh, what else looks good? Note blocks or crate textures. Barrels are gonna look good. I don't know what a loom might be used for, but we can check that out too. Those will probably work. Um, what else would look good for storage in here? Chests. Probably should have brought... I think I want to go get some mangrove. Oh, I did bring dark oak. Cool. That kind of looks like a hay bale. Although that's the same structure as the wall, so I probably won't use that. Some of these blocks could could look like material as well. That could be good. Mushroom could be good. Mangrove. I do have some mangrove. So let's see here. The one thing I am missing is a um, hay bale. CJ, hello, hello. All right, let's go get a hay bale. Yep, pretty chill Saturday, pretty standard. Had a fun time hanging out with the Spawn Chunks patrons, talking about what they were building in the uh, the patron hangout this morning. Uh, hay bales are here. And Moss, maybe. I don't know if bamboo box would look good, but we'll bring those two. What I should do is just put all this stuff in here. Are there any other blocks that might look good for storage blocks? Maybe roots. Oh, I wanted probably that box in case I need something. So the only thing about moving all the storage back, of course, is that we're now in the keep when we're working on the valley. We're pretty far away from just like popping back and grabbing a block. I say far. It's one rocket. It's not a lot. But if you have to go back and forth like six times. So I'm thinking stuff like this up here could be fun if we wanted to have maybe that and we could put signs on it and a pressure plate. Right, and then could put something else behind that. Yep, 
Hey, Bill, like that. I don't think it was better the other way. That makes more sense, maybe. I like that. Okay. So just little things like that. Uh, and then we can also pile a few things up here. I don't want to clog the window. But maybe this is a good spot for whatever that could be. I should also go get some mini blocks too. That's the other box I should have brought back. There's always something. So here though is where we might be able to start playing with some of the interior design. Adding like little touches. To help that flow. The window's already got a thing outside. I guess I could put a trapdoor inside. I'll have to double check to see what those windows look like from the outside. And I could put something there, but I don't want to block the textures that I just laid in. So it might be worth moving this out to here. Yeah, that looks better. And then so we'll just fill this in with blank stuff. I think I'm going to leave that space clear. Just I don't want to clutter it too crazy. I feel like you'd want access to these windows somehow. So maybe we'll put something here. Um, or not. This might look better. Whoops, there's a hole in the floor now. It's a little on the straight side. That's better, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can just put stuff in that. Can I do this? I can. Cool. Um, the floor does feel a little bit weird, but we're going to cover up most of this, I think, with boxes. We could probably put something here. It would be cool to get into some more color. Maybe we can gradually work towards that. I think the mushroom might work better. Mm, too high contrast. Cool idea, but not right next to that. So we'll save that somewhere else. Uh, I don't know if I want something green right in the middle. It does sort of look like drying plants though, right? Especially if we grab something else like birch. Although I guess I can't wrap anything around it if I've got something next to it either. I was hoping that maybe mangrove signs might look good. Similar to how we've got like maroon straps going around the hay bales. 
It's a bit bright, I have to say. That's probably better. That's actually not bad. There's quite a lot of yellow and stuff in there. Does the block look like a waffle or am I hungry again? Yeah, it definitely looks like a waffle. More so if it was brown, but definitely the case. This is feeling a little low. I wonder if I could do... Well, I'll wait until I get the floor done. Let's put some stuff back. So I think that's good for that half. I don't think we really need to do a heck of a lot up here. We don't have a lot of room anyway. I just have to think about, oh, there are a window. Oh, it's the downstairs window that doesn't have anything. Right. I don't think I want to put like a table and a chair up here. It doesn't make any sense. I feel like this needs to have some stuff piled up in front of it though. I don't think I want to make this too narrow. Putting something here. Yeah, we'll keep those two blocks clear. I don't want to repeat myself. Maybe a chest could go here. That's probably something that would go low and in front, right? Barrels are always good. A lot of brown. I have to spice that up a little bit if I could. I mean, I know mangrove is more brown, but well, that that looks more like sort of plant life type stuff. So, like a bundle of something. Uh, Don't want to use a pot. I might be able to get away with a smoker. Yeah. I'll just make it so that you can't see the front of it. I think that's fine on its own. And then we could put maybe another barrel here. Yeah. I do like that. Maybe we'll try it this way. Nope. It was better to see the straps. That could be a good spot for a mini block, I think, right there. And then we need to have this pile kind of spill out this way. Not bad, not terrible. We 
We could probably do another note block over here. Again, kind of leaving at least one window free. It's a better view anyway. I kind of want to put something on top of this. I just don't know what. Sweet Sandy, sorry to push your multitasking to the brink. Uh, why is the chest dark brown, asks Flux. Uh, this is a texture pack. This is actually a trap chest. Normally they look the same as a regular Minecraft chest and they have like a little red um, rim around them so you can see that they're trap chests. So when you open them, they activate redstone if it's nearby or if it's attached. Uh, but I took advantage of having two different chests in the game. These are trap chests and they are spruce wood texture with a special kind of like almost like an iron outline and then these are just regular chests but they're meant to look like oak so it gives me two chests that match wood in the game uh, i don't like the orange ch default minecraft chests i think they're ugly and i don't know why they exist because they don't look like they're made of any wood that you would get in the game so I do, I do feel like i want something else on top of here i just i know i don't want it to be another barrel but like that that looks cool having a stack of stuff like that. I do tend to use this, the spruce chests a lot more. I kind of like that over there. What could we put there? Nope. I don't know. I do want that pile to go up like that, though. What if... I put this on the bottom. We move this out to here. That is kind of in your face. Hmm. 
that can almost stand on its own. And then maybe what we can do out front here, instead of a full block, maybe we can use a slab. The question is what kind of slab? Probably oak, I guess. It would make more sense if it was maybe a stone slab. I did bring all those. Just looks like it's part of the the wall though. Instead of being like something else. Hmm. The stone slab to step your toe. That's not that's not uh too far off. I wish I had more of a brain for sub blocks in the game. I tend to forget the stuff that you can do. I guess I could put a mini block there. Yeah, I think I don't really need to do much more. I'd like to take a second and maybe address the lack of rafters. Where would be a good spot to put it? Probably there. And my guess would be spruce over um, oak. Yeah, definitely, definitely spruce. Don't know if we're going to do it right next to that, though. It might be better to do it here. That way we can go up outside of the chain. And I can add something. I guess we want to do that kind of a thing. Mm, nope. Probably more of a log there. Uh, is that going to be flush? It will be, but we can add some overlap to it. Uh, 
Oh, I had one. So it's that, or potentially stripped. So I'm thinking about putting in uh, like a beam along here. And then just wherever we have these guys, we'll cross it over like that. Feels a little flat. This in the middle. That would be. Kind of like picking the lesser two evils. I don't like the way that that looks. Although, I guess I don't have to keep those. Those are out. Those are inside. Inside things. I think that works. I'm curious what this might look like if I did a higher log. So we'll try that on this side. So instead of there, I'll go up one. And then I have to figure out how this would be something that would look supported. That would just have to happen here as well. I'm running out of space. Surprisingly, I think I like that better. Yeah, it just gets a little bit too busy. Huh. All right, we'll just try a different log then.
think the stripped does look better because it, it helps separate it out from what's it? the uh, the other framing elements. I guess it's not going to matter up there. Those come down like that. This might make sense to do that. These are I might have to change a lot of that to spruce, but that's fine. Oh, I have no left. Um, we could probably leave that the way that it is. It might even look better just without them. Yeah. What do we think? Trapdoor or no trapdoor? Maybe we don't have to do it the same on both sides. Maybe we can have the trapdoors on this wall. If that's the case, maybe these have to be slabs. Maybe not all of them. Maybe we can just make two of them slabs. One of them. Old houses will be odd sometimes. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I think they look better as stairs. So we'll put that back. I think I like it without the trapdoor on one side. There's less of a problem over here. And I guess that means we could put these back too, right? Could do that. Yeah, I think I'd rather do that. Sure. Yep, I like that. I'm going to have to remember that trick. Signs between stairs. Not that anyone is ever going to be in here. I just... I really like the idea of completing this build, this area, fully where the interiors are done as well. So this feels like it should be packed more, but if you pack it with more stuff, like I just, I don't know what benefit you're going to get from that. It's not going to be as cool to be able to walk around and look. So I think I'll leave it like that. I do still want to put some mini blocks in here, so I'll go and try to get some of those. So put that on the to-do list. And then I guess we've got to dress the lighting still and then the windows. What do the windows look like from outside?
Right, so they don't have any real shutters because I've got trapdoors there. Okay, well, we'll put the shutters inside. We'll probably leave one window open and shut the other one. There's a tree in front of these two, or this window, so we can just shut one of the windows inside. It's an older roof, but it still looks pretty good. So we'll go get some mini blocks and a mud of spruce logs. Imagine we'll probably have most of what we need in there. Man, having these little symbols on the uh, shulker boxes on the inventory is very handy. I want Bruce. Oh, that's Birch. What was in this? Yeah, that should be good. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get so fancy with armor stands. I don't need to worry about that. I don't think. If it was a build that was like in the town and I knew was going to get a lot of attention then maybe, but I don't think I need to go quite to that level. Anything darker? It's the log. I mean, that really does help, though. So that's the vanilla chest texture as a mini block. They don't have, I didn't change the custom texture on it. And I know there's really no clay used around here, but I feel like you can, you can never go wrong. You're just piling stuff up to have like bricks in places.
I know that means we can't put a sign there, but can't think of another place to put that. That feels kind of in the way. I guess I could put that over here. Oh no, that's going to line up with the stair. I could do a full stair maybe of bricks. Yeah, it looks more like a pile. Yeah, I'd say that's good. Pretty straightforward change. Now, we don't need both of these lanterns up here, but they're symmetrical. They probably make it look pretty nice from outside. They probably do a good job lighting up the roof. So I'd have to put two in here anyway because there's no real middle, I don't think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I don't want to remove that. So we'll leave those where they are. Take that away and that away. How are we doing for light now? Still good. Because of the lantern down here. Yep. Dab, 2014, welcome in. Elkhorn, 95, welcome in. How is your stream? Flux, yeah, that's a data pack that you can get from Vanilla Tweaks. It's called um, Wandering Trades. You saw me do it earlier, I think, if you were here when I was trading with the Wandering Trader. So for endgame players that have been playing on the server like I have for seven years, it gives a new purpose to the Wandering Trader. They're, they're actually player head blocks that have just been given textures of all the different blocks in the game, reduced down to uh, 8 by 8 from the 16 by 16 that they normally have. And then you can go to the Wandering Trader whenever you see them and grab one or two or eight or whatever. You have to have the block itself and you have to have an emerald and you get the mini eight, eight mini blocks in return. As if you took a block and you, you cut it into quarters. You'd have one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight on the other side. Okay, so we know that we're gonna do closed window here. I'll leave that one open. This is kind of boring. I wonder if we could make this more interesting by using stairs instead. Luckily, I just happen to have two stairs of the right kind. So I won't change the outside, just the inside. That helps with that table there, not going right up against that, that ledge, which is good. So we don't need a light source in here. Uh, I don't know what this would actually be in terms of function. I guess just another bit of odd storage or something. I don't want to put anything in there because one block to go up the stairs I find is tight. I usually need a block and a half. So I really don't know what else we could put here. Should put a chair with a table maybe? I could try moving the table somewhere in the middle. Oh, I'm going to put some stuff away. Hmm. 
Mm, I think I like it better in the corner. Maybe that's what we do, create some sort of spot where maybe someone would keep records of what what was going on with like the wheat. That could be good. I usually try to mix up the tables and chairs so that they don't mesh together texture wise. Whoops. I know I said I didn't want this to get claustrophobic, but that might work too. Ah, it does feel it's in the way. Yeah, it's it's a for context, it's a wheat mill. So I'm just trying to think about what what kind of stuff might be right here. That's actually in your face too, isn't it? Maybe we can put that at the base of the stairs. Can you layer up? There's some things that you can do. I know you can do it with uh item frames. Can you do it with signs too? No. That works though. I might even be able to do something fun. I just thought about this. I never tried this. What if we took that, put it in the item frame, and then... Huh! Oh, it's got some Z fighting going on. That's unfortunate. If it was oak, it might work better. Or spruce. Nah, it's the same thing. Oh, that's too bad that it's the same, same width. I can't think of anything else we could put in there. Clay ball might work. I mean, it's not the right thing. Uh, I like tripwire hooks better than levers for this kind of stuff. I don't know. Does that? It does kind of look bare without the picture frame. That's fine. Nope. There really isn't a lot of room. I don't want to ruin the walking past, so I think we're good. I think that's all I'm gonna all I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'll just pop outside just to make sure that the uh, windows look okay. That actually looks better. Those are stairs. Cool. All right. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I like that. 
Feels busy, but not anything crazy. And we'll just pop downstairs. And maybe I can pick something out of this mini block box to put on the table. One of those would probably look good. That or this little thing. This, I find that the, um, the, the loom looks like it could be an abacus, which is kind of cool. Or that, or it looks like it could be like a, uh, one of those steel cloth things that, like a thresher, you might pull your wheat through. The seeds would shoot it off and you'd just be left with the stalks. So it could be something like that, maybe. And then I'm not sure what we could put on the other table. I think we'll just leave it like that. I don't have any, we've not, we've, uh, I think we've established on the stream that there, we've never seen any smooth logs in the mini blocks. So we're not sure that they exist. Uh, we also don't need two lanterns in here. I guess it looks good. Yeah, it's more for aesthetics, I guess. I'll just leave them the way that they are. Trying not to redo all my old builds. Like, you don't need three lanterns here, but back when we were first making this, this would have been a death trap had you not had the right amount of lighting. So... It's also pretty in here, so I don't mind. Oh, this one's all torches. How much time do I have? I don't have any time. All right, we'll have to come back and finish the interior of the other barn. So one step forward, one step back. Wheat farm, mill interior. Complete. Let's go uh, wheat our mill and use that as a header. Interior. And we need to do second barn interior. I like checking things off. I do feel like we've been making a lot of progress the last little while. I especially feel like we've made a lot of headway on this section here. Like this now feels really nice to walk by. I'm really happy with all of this custom tree and it just, it feels done to the left, which is fantastic until you get to about here. <laughs> and then it's like, well, we got some stuff done. Yeah, I think either here or there, I'm going to put a road sign. It's probably going to be here. I think because you can have hanging signs when they're from chains hang at an angle, I think it could be fun to have like a T-shape made out of logs and then hang a bunch of different signs and try to my my best to come up with like an arrow or something where we might be able to say like East bridge that way, Western, you know, slopes that way. Like just try to create like a little crossroad signs, like the kind of thing that you'd see in an RPG that would direct you where to go. Right. Let's return everything. So I mentioned this yesterday on stream. Uh, there will not be a stream tomorrow. I've got a family dinner 
happening and it's um, starting ish around the same time I normally wrap up my stream and it's just a little bit tight so we're gonna skip tomorrow's stream and have a day off I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be spending time with their family and stuff tomorrow anyway as it is a long weekend that goes there do I have signs no spruce things Torches, book. All done. Rabelais, good to see you. Thanks very much for coming in. Uh, we are going to pass you all along to somebody else playing Minecraft. I think False Symmetry is live, and also I'll just refresh just in case. You know what? We have not raided Tadpole Milk in a while. Let's uh, send everybody over to Tadpole Milk. Looks like they just started. Always a good, always a good time. One of the best laughs on Twitch, I think. So if you've enjoyed this, leave a follow here on Twitch before you take off. Make sure to follow on social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. We are still recording on Monday for Spawn Chunks. So even though it is the Easter holiday weekend, uh, Johnny and I are recording at 10 o'clock Atlantic time. That's uh, UTC minus four hours, so one o'clock in the UK. Uh, and we are going to be, uh, no, two o'clock in the UK. We are going to be uh, talking about the latest changes in the snapshot this past week to the mace as well as to bad omen so it should be a good conversation those podcasts are available wherever you find your favorite podcasts as well as on youtube so subscribe where you feel you are going to listen to it most it is free and uh, the extra eyeballs extra ear holes help us out a lot so the more people that you can point towards this stream and the podcasts then the better i do also record the citadel cafe right now it's about once a month i'll be sitting down with Stephen esc this coming week so uh, the first week in april wow it's april already we'll have a new show out for you as well and uh while you're out there check out patreon patreon is one of the best ways to support your favorite creators i have one it is patreon.com slash joel duggan you can support at the base level for two bucks a month and get access to the discord or you can explore some of the other levels there's even a patron server where a number of people have been playing in a long-term world very similar to the citadel actually and uh, the support goes a long way to keep me streaming. So I hope you have a fantastic holiday weekend for those that are celebrating or just enjoying the time off. And I will see you at the earliest or the latest next Thursday. Earliest, maybe during the week if I can find some time. But right now, the next scheduled Minecraft stream is on Thursday. See you then. Bye for now.